Meredith and I, and now, of course, David, who you met, which we're going to bring on as our buyer's agent. Tell everybody, um, who, tell everybody where you live and who and how you met David before you do your other story. I met David because he sold me. Uh, he's one of the top Honda salesmen salesman in uh, Los Angeles. He works for Hollywood, Honda of Hollywood, and he used to be in fundraising. This guy would literally go, and he's a young buck, he'd go up to someone on the street and just get their credit card number and get buy-in for whatever fundraising project he was working on. So I met him in 2015, and he sold me my car exactly three years ago, and then I uh, went back to him just this September because I wanted to get the 2007 Accord because I didn't like the 2018 and of course I did now this guy just so you know sells between 34 and 40 cars a month and we had talked about getting his real estate license back in 2015 and I kind of said hey where you at where you at because I thought he would just be such a huge asset plus I thought I could learn a lot from him because that that just Total laser focus, take no for an answer, da da da. I wanted, I want to work on that and perfect it hopefully one day. So he finally got his license right after he sold me the car. And then I said, and then he came to my brokerage. My broker signed him on. And now my partner and I have taken him under our wing, but really we're kind of under his wing a bit. And um, what makes him special? Why is he the top? Why is he the best in everything he touches? Because he's absolutely consistent, persistent, and he focuses on one thing. Just one and thing. that is, yes, on one laser focus. Total, fo he just has that just. He hones in on the task at hand and gets it done. And if he doesn't get you now, he's going to get you in a little bit. But What's, his motivating? What's his motivation? Uh, the money, the challenge, the, uh, what is it? Uh, he absolutely is competitive, number one, more than the money. But the money is right behind it. But he's competitive, and they kind of create a competitive atmosphere there. He can't stand it there anymore. I shouldn't say that. But he wants to be number one. Last year, he Ooh. sold 360 cars. Wow. At least 360. Two of 294 of them were 2017. How much does self-esteem, self-worth, self-confidence make up his personality? Well, you know, actually, I know him pretty well, and he's got a very shy side that he has to feel comfortable. He has, he has to feel, and that's where I feel, I can, he has to feel comfortable um with you to show you that but aside from that he is calm cool and collected all day long so he has that go-getter attitude more than he has the confidence but he has the confidence in himself that he will totally sell you if that makes sense okay i love what you know randy was talking about the psychology of wealth i'm interested in the psychological makeup of successful people what are they like I love meeting people who have achieved, who become one percenters. I always felt that part of being successful or wanting to be successful is surrounding yourself with winners uh, who did it honestly, um, it, who, who created businesses from scratch. I'm not talking about trust fund babies or things like that. I, I just love that. To me, I, you could talk to me all day or give me books or, or movies, anything about rags to riches stories. I love what makes up a successful person? What, well, what, is, you know, what is it? Well, I'll tell you, I just want to say one more thing about him and then I'll stop talking. But no. I just want to say about this guy, he was so shy to come to the office. At first, him and I would go meet at Starbucks, you know, and he'd show up in his flip fly. He was very, you know, and so I said, listen, we have to be in the office. You have to be in that atmosphere because he wants to leave Honda. He's thinking at the end of this year, I'm thinking by April 1st. Uh, he's already talking to one of our high-end clients that, of course, if he closes, we're going to give him a good piece of every deal. I tell you one thing. This guy, no doubt, no two ways about it, he will be one of the 1% at the brokerage where there's almost 200 agents, and he will absolutely make a million dollars by the end of next year. There's no two ways about it. Okay. So, he, so the thing is, he's super shy, 
but when it comes to that task, he's insanely focused, he's extremely competitive, and he wants to win. He wants to win. Uh, some, so there's something about that confidence, that self-esteem, that dynamic, that focus. It's so complicated. There's so many different things that make up a, a winner, a financial winner in society. Who wants to add to that? Yolanda, let me, uh, we haven't 